Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Tel Aviv 2022. In the white, we have Enrique Les, uh, Barrios from Venezuela. And in the blue, we have Megumi Horikawa from Japan. Uh, the competitors are just getting on the mats. Let's just uh, fast forward ourselves. Even the referee is not yet on the match. Okay, here we go. All right, so uh, Enrique Les is in the white and Megumi is in the blue. All right, so just trying to get uh, grips early on. Okay, stepping over, uh, stepping across uh, with Enrique Les, uh, and they just get to the ground, but uh, no real big attack there. Not much in terms of uh, rotation by Enrique Les to attack Megumi. So uh, yeah, I like that. What uh, Megumi there was doing there with the right hand. I like it. You know, it's it's showing she's ready for the for the turnover, the block. So and uh, that's what you gotta do. You know, a lot of the times the uh, it was a defense is more about anticipating. What, oh, that should be a pawn. What? What? That that Uchimata should be a pawn. Come on, you gotta be joking. Wazari, I am surprised. Color me surprised. That. That, uh, Uchimata, come on. Maybe it didn't have the, like, the nice solid, like, thud, but that was clean. So, okay, Megumi gets the Wazari on, uh, Enriquez. Fine, whatever. Like, the, obviously, that's there for her. That's gonna work. Okay, so, uh, Enriquez tries to go across again, and then, uh, bails on it by going on the inside. Mmm. Not a really good attack, just in terms of like the position and, and which direction uh, Megumi was already in. But you know, I would like to see uh, Enrique uh, use that height advantage that she has. I mean, she is trying to step across, but um, not using a lot of sort of upper body rotational power there to uh, to pair with that stepping. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, I don't. I kind of disagree with the the penalty, the passive penalty there. I mean, she was just attacking like not that long ago, but uh, yeah. So this attack, I think she has to abandon in realize It's not gonna work. It's shown to have not worked. It's not even close. And uh, I think she, it would she would do a lot better if she uh, maybe faked that and went for a Tanya Tosh or something. Because uh, she can get across real nice. But um, Megumi has to also sort of show her back, uh, have the back be available to her, right? So, okay. All right. And will, oh, okay. There is something there. Will she get the arm bar? Oh, uh, okay. Megumi tucks in the arm, avoids the arm bar. That could have been an armbar if the leg had threaded through and uh, Enrique Les had uh, slid down the arm to the uh, elbow, but uh, didn't recognize it at the time or didn't try to do it fast enough. Megumi was able to tuck it in, so. Uh, but that, that could have been something, for sure. So let's see how. Has Megumi respond so far? I haven't seen another attempt at the Uchimata. Perhaps uh, hasn't had the right time to strike on that because there's been so much forward pressure from Enrique Les. And uh, she, I don't know. Okay, there's only 55 seconds left to go. Um, this is sort of a pseudo aggressiveness. Yeah, like these are sort of like not you know, what are we talking about? Like 15% likelihood. It's a highly scientific uh, pr <laughs> process of assessing uh, percentages. There, in that position, could have been an Uchimata thrown by Enrique Les. So, you know, uh, a penalty is now assessed to Megumi. Uh, I'm not quite sure why, but uh, nonetheless, there's only about 30 seconds left to go. She's up the Wazari. 
I don't know if we're going to see very much more risk taking from her since she only has the one Shido. Um, I doubt it, to be honest, but, uh, you know, anything could still happen. You know, I've seen uh, every permutation happen, so. But, uh, you know, Enrique Les here, really not, you know, doing much different. Okay, so Megumi wins. I thought she had the Epo anyways, but she wins by Wazari off that Wazari throw. Um, very clean, very nice. Uh, that's the, the Uchimata, I should say, the Uchimata that earned her the Wazari. Um, but, uh, you know, the thing here is uh, the lesson of this uh, match was really Enrique Les going to the same well the entire match despite being down Wazari. None of those attempts really improved in quality or... Uh, or really crossed, you know, a very credible threshold to uh, throwing uh, Megumi um, and not showing any variety in terms of the direction of attack or timing, like throw, throwing any wrinkles in there, right? That was very straightforward attack and very um, predictable in a way. And the thing too is, you, you know, you have to look at the dynamic here, right? Like Megumi... Uh, wasn't showing any vulnerability to that attack, right? So why keep going to that well if she's just going to be able to defend it very well? Like, it doesn't make sense. So would like to see Enricolas, uh work on uh, what plan B would be, plan C, you know, and uh, build off this experience for the next one. And then, you know, Megumi advances to the semifinal off of this win. So congratulations to her. Uh, those are my thoughts. If you have any of your own that you'd like to add, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. And until next match, have a great night.